you don't look a panic, I'll say you left out a zero, right? And you take your bow. Thank you very much. Let's see, we're, we're, we're near the end of my time. I'll tell you what I'd like to do. Um, I'd like to wrap things up by doing a quick commercial, a quick song, and then my grand finale, okay? So, and you know the song maybe, okay. So the quick commercial is, I, aside from the getting, as I know you're gonna get the book, half of you have already gotten it and I've signed it, and thank you for that. Um, uh, I, I like to emphasize whenever I'm on the road in front of a, a large audience of people who would come out on a, on a Wednesday night to hear a math talk, I am a professor of mathematics at Harvey Mudd, College, Harvey Mudd College. Uh, how many of you have heard of Harvey Mudd College? Oh my gosh, well I don't even tell you about it. In fact, I, I, I've seen a number of alums here in the audience too. That's wonderful to see. Um, and I guess that makes sense. Harvey Mudd College, for those of you who don't know, it's a small college in Claremont, California, two hours north of here. Uh, 800 students, all of whom major in math, science, and engineering. One third of their courses are in the humanities, social sciences, and the arts. So not only do they know their math and science, they know how it's going to impact society. And something I could not have told you 10 years ago, half the students at Harvey Mudd College are women. That wasn't true. When I started, yes, that's right. When I started there 26 years ago, um, uh, it was over three to one ratio. Uh, of guys to girls. Actually, it was more. The, the guys said it was more like pie to one ratio. <laughs> as far, the girls said, as far as finding a guy was concerned, they said the odds were good, but the goods were odd. <laughs> and that might still be true today. I'm not sure. But, um, okay. Uh, and speaking of pie, that's my song that I'd like to before uh, before I do my grand finale. Since you've all been so good tonight. I want to I want to uh, treat you to a song. We got a little pie tie here, just to remind me of that. Um, and uh, I'd like to share it with you, if for no other reason, to convince you that there's no connection between talent in math and talent in music. Okay, I'm a walking example of that. <laughs> I only sing it once though, because pie doesn't repeat. <laughs> a long, long time ago. I can still remember how my math class used to make me snore. Cause every number we would meet would terminate or just repeat. But maybe there were numbers that did more. But then my teacher said, I dare ya, to try to find the circles area. Despite my every action, I couldn't find a fraction I can't remember if I cried the more I tried or circumscribed, but something touched me deep inside the day I learned of pie. Oh, pie, pie, mathematical pie. Twice 11 over seven is a mighty fine try. A good old fraction you may hope to supply, but the decimal expansion won't die. Decimal expansion won't die. Pi, pi, mathematical pi. 3.14159265358.9. A good old fraction you may hope to define, but the decimal expansion won't die. Thank you. Grand finale, I, something I alluded to earlier when we have the people on stage with their calculators. I'm going to try to square a five-digit number, something I don't always do in my performances. But to make my job more interesting for you, as well as for me, I'm going to do this last problem thinking out loud. So you can actually honestly hear what's going on in my mind while I do a calculation of this size. Let's create a five-digit number. How about the how about the third row here? If I can get five of you, each call out a single digit, that will be my five-digit number. One. One. Three. Three. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Eight. Eight. Thirteen thousand seven hundred sixty-eight squared. Let me explain to you how I'm going to attempt this problem. I'm going to break the problem down into three parts. I'll do 13,000 squared plus 768 squared plus 
13,000 times 768 times 2. Add all those numbers together and with any luck, arrive at the answer. Now let me recap. Thank you. While I explain something else. As I do this last calculation, you will hear certain words in addition to numbers enter the calculation. Let me explain what that is. This is a phonetic code, a mnemonic device that I use that allows me to convert numbers into words. I store them as words and later on retrieve them as numbers. I know it sounds complicated. It's not. I just don't want you to think you're seeing something crazy up here. There's definitely a method to my madness. One last instruction for my judges with calculators. Now, who's got an answer in front of them? A few of you. You should have a nine-digit number beginning with one, ending with four, in between. I don't know yet. There's a 50% chance that I'll make a mistake somewhere in the middle. If I do, don't tell me what the mistake is. Just say you're close or something, and I'll try and figure it out, which can be pretty entertaining in itself. If, however, I am right, whatever you do, don't keep it to yourselves. <laughs> make sure everybody knows that I got the answer right because this is my big finish, okay? So without any more stalling, here we go. I'll start the problem in the middle with 768 times 13 times 2. Now 13 times 2 is 26 and 76 times 26 is 1820 plus 156 is 1976. That's 19,760 plus 208 is 19,968. 19,968 becomes tub pitch off. Tub pitch off is 19,968. That seems right. I'll go on. Tub pitch off. Okay, next I do 13 squared which is 169. 13 squared is 169. Uh, add that to tub. I've got 169 plus a carry. I'm going to call that 189 million. Pitch off, pitch off. Okay, next I do 768 squared. That's 800 times 736 plus 32 squared. We did 32 squared before. 800 times 736 is 5600 plus 288 is 5888. That's 588,800 plus 1024 is 589,824. 824 is finer if I need it. Finer. Take the 589, add that to pitch off. Let's see, to get. I've got 489 plus 68 is 557,824. Yes! Good! Thank you all very much. I hope you enjoyed the Act of Magic. I'm Arthur Benjamin. Thank you. Professor Benjamin's up here, happy to sign your books. So.